Hi guys, just thought I'd do a talk through this ducted fan boat that I made because I didn't do a build video because it's using parts that I've used before in previous boats. But I'll just run through the components. The basic hull is some packaging that a television came in. It's not styrofoam, I think it's polypropylene. Not that that's particularly relevant, styrofoam would work just as well. The shape of it is the packaging. I didn't cut this bit out the bottom, but when I looked at it I thought it would make a nice uh, catamaran shape, or twin pontoon, whatever you want to call it. And I've got a lump of polystyrene there, just to mount the motor on. The motor is the electric motor out of a hair dryer and I've put a metal tube on the back um, it's an aluminium tube made from a drinks can no particular reason could have used styrofoam just as easily or probably even cardboard but I had a drinks can handy so that's what I made it from it's got a very slight taper it's a little bit narrower at the back than it is at the front mainly because I thought that looked good. I think that does slightly improve the performance. If you overdo it, then you build up too much pressure inside and nothing comes out the back. And if you do it the other way, if you have it wider at the back and smaller at the front, then that actually reduces the pressure coming out. Uh, that's just hot glued straight on top of the bit of styrofoam. wires that come out of it go into this plastic uh, clip seal box. I'll open it in a minute. On this side of the box we've just got an ordinary radio controlled servo with a nice bit of wire coming to the back here. For the rudders we've got twin rudders and all they are are bits of plastic uh, cut from a similar box to that one but a cheaper one and hot glued onto the wire. The wire is bent in an L shape so that it holds onto the rudder. At the other end of the wire on this side it's bent this way first then bent into a loop then bent back again and across this way and another loop so we've got an arm to connect the lever from the servo and then we've got an arm there that pushes the rudder on this side so they work together. Uh, just bits of plastic tubing to anchor them in place. Uh, that tubing comes from a soap dispenser. It's the tube inside the soap dispenser that any bit of plastic would do or any tube that you've got. So that's the steering. And then inside the box, I could have um, glued them in place or used double sided tape or something, but I've just let them lay in there loose. So that's the receiver. It's actually a six channel receiver, but we're only using two channels. That wire goes to the servo, that just plugs in. The other wire goes to this little thing, which is an electronic speed controller. This particular one does forward and reverse, and in the middle it has a brake position. And that's the plug that would normally go to the motor. In my case I've just got some stiff wire that goes to the motor so that just pushes straight into the plug. Obviously you push both wires in. I've just pushed one in there for demonstration purposes. The other plug goes to your battery. In this case I've got a three cell LiPo battery it's a 3S, which means that's three cells in series. 
So you multiply 3. Point whatever it is, 3.7 volts by 3 and you get 11.1 .1 volts. It's only a small one, only a thousand milliamp hours, but that's plenty for me for just mucking about on the boat pond. That ESC also has an on-off switch on it, which is very handy. I don't know if you can see that LED coming on when I switch it on and off. Um, and it also has a built-in BEC, which is a battery eliminator circuit, which means that you can run the receiver from that battery rather than having a separate battery to power the receiver. It actually feeds the battery through the ESC, drops it down to the right voltage to power the receiver. And I think that's it. So there you go, that's a talk through rather than a build video. Job done.